Well, I'm magic guys, welcome back to my channel. And for today's video, I've got a villains collectibles haul. So in this video, there are certain items which I'm not including, which are anything clothing, apparel related, years, Disney villain pins, Disney plushes. But apart from that, I'm including everything. So I've got Pop Funkos, I've got gym shows, I've got a couple of mugs, etc. artwork. So let's get started. I'm going to start with one of my favourite items, and that is the Glow in the Dark Maleficent Dragon. This Pop Funko is absolutely stunning. So you've got the amazing green flames which glow in the dark. You've got the incredible horns, the green eyes which are also glow in the dark, and the yellow nostrils and the yellow mouth which also glow in the dark. Stunning. And then here you've got the details of the wings which are super cool. You've got the scales, you've got the tail. All the details on this are absolutely perfection. Such an insane looking pop. I love this so much. Definitely one of my favourite villain items that I own. And then just to show you guys in case you're interested, I actually have the box. And the box has the most stunning artwork I've ever seen. I love all the bright colours. So I usually keep my pop just on top here and then I have this section of the box on display because I think it is gorgeous. So that is the pop Funko of the Maleficent Dragon. I'll just show you one more time. It is everything. So that is that. Then I'm going to show you two artworks that I have. One is of one of my favourite villains ever right now, Ursula. But a body language. Ha! I love Ursula so much. So here she, here she is, the diva of the sea. The sea witch. This is absolutely gorgeous. It's by a local artist, Mike Prouse. I love the bright colours. She's got flotsam and jotsam on there. She looks sassy as ever. Doing a pose with her body yaddy yaddy. Such a gorgeous art print. And then one that I absolutely love, and actually since I did it at all a few weeks ago, a lot of people have purchased this print, which makes me so happy because it's from an amazing small shop called Task Creations. And it is Vanessa, which is what Ursula's counterpart is. And she's looking into the mirror, looking at her true self, Ursula. It is from the scene in the movie when she's singing in the mirror and it is absolutely stunning. Beautiful. Then I have something very different for me. I don't collect Disney designer dolls, but I had to get this one. So this is the Queen of Hearts Disney Store designer doll. And it is absolutely gorgeous. Look at that dress. Oh my gosh. So beautiful. And I managed to get this for retail price and now it goes for crazy prices. So I'm very excited to have this. It is gorgeous. Next, I'm going to show you a gym show. I'll start with Maleficent. So this is a rare and discontinued gym show, so I'm very lucky to have it. It is absolutely stunning and it is huge. So you've got a gothic base, then you've got Maleficent's dragon, you've got her staff with Diaval the crow. You've got Maleficent looking stunning there with her horns. Her fingers have broken off. I didn't actually break them. So with gym shows, over time, I think some of them, when they're thin, get very fragile, like fingers. My Dumbo figurine, his stalk legs, um, that didn't make sense, let me try again. I've got a Dumbo figurine with a stalk, and because the stalk's legs are super thin, they are wearing over time, and they are starting to break. So that is what happened here with the fingers, sadly. But it's still so stunning. And here's the back with all the purple gym show swirls. If you do want to see these gym shows in a lot more detail, then please go and check out one of my older videos, which is my Villains Disney Gym Shows video, because then you can see them close up. I'm not going to talk too much on every single gym show because we'd be here for all day otherwise. So go and check that out. I'll leave it in the description box down below if you do want to see them more close up. Whew, that was a mouthful. Next, I'm going to show you the Evil Queen Gym Show, which is by far one of my favourites that I own. It is gorgeous. It is so huge. So it is the evil queen sitting on top of her peacock throne. She looks like a bitch you don't want to mess with. A total mood, a total diva. She is gorgeous. I love the colours. Such a beauty. Here's the back. This is absolutely gorgeous. So that's my evil queen gym show. Then I will show you another gym show. This is one of my most recent ones. It is Dr. Facilier, who is such a criminally underrated Disney villain. And I love this one. So I love the skull and swirl base here. 
And then he's holding this skull, which actually moves, which is super cool. It's got candy in there. His iconic hat. I just think he is so cool. Hope you can see it. The back. So that is my Dr. Facilier Jim Shaw. Then I have a, my voice broke then, then, then I have a Evil Queen Pop Funko, which I love. This is actually now vaulted, so I managed to get her, luckily. She's got the poison apple and she looks so beautiful. And here is the artwork, in case you wanted to see it. So gorgeous. Next, I'm going to show you a Hades Pop Funko. Now, Hades, if you've been watching this channel for a long time, you know that I'm obsessed with him. He's my favourite Disney villain. He is the love of my life. He is my man. Yes, I am attracted to a blue animated god of the underworld. No shame. So here is my Hades Pop Uncle and it is absolutely stunning. It actually glows in the dark, which is super cool. He looks very menacing in this pop. His blue hair, his iconic cape, stunning. And I want to show you the artwork on the box in case you wanted to see. Looks so creepy, glowed up in the dark. I love it. So that is that. Then, ooh, what do I show you next? So I'm doing a Hades moment here. Um, I'm going to show you my Hades gym show. Here he is, my man, the love of my life. This is my Hades gym show, which is also discontinued and rare now, like the Maleficent one is. Absolutely stunning. So you've got Megara and Hercules on the staircase, like the scene in the movie. Hades looks incredible. Look at the hair, his iconic hair and his face. Stunning. The cape is incredible. All the details, I love this one. It's actually one of my favorite items that I own in my entire collection. Next, I'm gonna show you a Cruella Jim Shaw, which is also discontinued and it's very rare. It is gorgeous. She looks so sassy with her iconic fur coat on. Cruella has fantastic style. And she's holding on the puppies and she looks so in love with them, which is a complete lie, as we know, because we all know that she wants to make them into a fur coat. So gorgeous. So that is that. Then I have a Gaston figurine, a gym show, sorry, which I know Suzanne at Bangers Bubbly will freak over. It's our man girl. Me and Suzanne share the same animated man. Here's Gaston and he's holding, he's holding, he's got LeFou with him, his sidekick, and LeFou looks so in love with his idol. He wants to be just like him. And there's Gaston. Look at that smirk. That is everything. His muscles, his chest. Oh, he is so hot, but he is so arrogant. Ladies, you do not want a man like this. You think you do because he's hot, but mm -mm. That is Gaston and LeFou. I love that one. Then I'm going to break it up a bit. I'm going to show you a Queen of Hearts mug, which is so gorgeous. I keep this on my Alice shelf. I got this from Disneyland California. So beautiful with all the hearts. It says Queen of Hearts on the inside. Hopefully you can see that. Gorgeous. Then I've got my Queen of Hearts gym show, which I adore. And I love that it's got the scene from the movie in her dress, the croquet scene with Alice, the, the hedgehogs and the dodo birds. So gorgeous. Look at all the details here. Gym show swirls on the back of her dress, which is beautiful. I love this one. Then I want to show you my Ursula gym show, which I adore because I love Ursula. Bum, ba -da, bum, ba -da, bum. Look at her body, oddy, oddy, oddy. She is incredible. Her tentacles look insane with the purple gym show swirls there. Her body, oddy, like I said, she looks gorgeous. She looks so sassy. You've got Ariel, Flotsam and Jotsam on the inside of the dress. Andrew at Magic in Michigan. Andrew and Jess, look, it's my favourite. I hate Ariel guys if you don't know that already. Next I'm going to show you my Queen of Hearts Pop Funko which is super cute because she's holding the dodo bird. So cute and she's actually got a little green hedgehog as well which is so stinking cute. I love him. So that is that Pop Funko and here's the artwork. So gorgeous. And then I have a Vanessa Pop and I do love Vanessa a lot recently. Here's the artwork. And then here she is looking stunning with her eyebrows raised. Very simplistic pop, but it's stunning. And then I have her counterpart, her true self, which is Ursula, the diva of the sea, which you guys know that I love. I think I've mentioned that like 10 times in this video. She's got Flotsam and Jotsam. I adore Disney sidekicks, especially villain sidekicks. 
So that is a gorgeous pop. Look at the tentacles at the bottom there. Gorgeous. And here's the artwork for that. Then I have Yzma from Emperor's New Groove. And she's holding the pink llama bottle, which I adore. And I love her jazzy earrings. So cute. Here's the artwork. Stunning. And then the final pop set that I have to show you is this Cruella and Ursula with a trident two pack, which is gorgeous. Look at the details on these pops. So Ursula's got her trident and her tentacles again and her crown. And then Cruella looks insane with her crazy spiky hair. She's like a total mood. She looks so angry. I love this pop. So that is Cruella and Ursula. And here is the back of the box to show you guys. And then finally, I want to show you, well, I did want to include a Cheshire Cat into this video because there's a debate whether Cheshire Cat is a villain or not. And I kind of think he is a mini villain, like he's a little shit. He's quite happy getting Alice's head chopped off at the Queen of Hearts because he wants the drama. But I haven't included him in case that would cause a commotion in the comment section with people who think he is and people who don't think he is. And this might cause a bit of a commotion because there's a love-hate argument whether Lock, Shock and Barrel from Nightmare for Christmas are villains or not. I think they are personally. Megan at the Pumpkin Queens. Hi girl, if you're watching this, let me know what you think because I know you love Nightmare for Christmas. Juliet, let me know that they are villains in my personal opinion. So this is Lock, Shock and Barrel from Nightmare for Christmas. And this gym show is so cute. They're in the bathtub with the little feet with the blue gym show swirls here. And they look stunning, holding all the masks. So cute. I love this gym show. And also, do we love my years? Oh my gosh, these are my new years. I'm going to do a year collection soon. Let me know in the comments if you want to see that. But these are stunning with Flotsam and Jotsam and Ursula and the seashell in the centre, which I adore. So that was my villains collection. Do let me know in the comment section which one's your favourite and let me know what your favourite villain is. Mine is definitely Hades and Ursula, I think. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're all happy, healthy, safe wherever you are. If you are new here, then please do subscribe. That will help me out a lot and I'd be so appreciative. And if you're returning, you guys know that I love you. Thank you so much for watching and of course, stay magical. Bye guys.